Good morning, cultists! In our previous episode, we left things off after, well, let's be honest here, a whole lot of jibber-jabber, for which I apologize again. We're still in the same war that we technically started a couple of episodes ago, so not a lot of time has passed, though that's not to say that we didn't get anything done. Actually, we opened up China and we have a fair bit of grace, but we don't have enough to get that trade contract. Now, I could send my granddaughters away as concubines, or my daughter, but, uh, I'd say let's just wait. Maybe we'll get lucky and the next emperor will like concubines or something. We'll see. And I think... Okay, we need to be at peace to be able to kowtow. Gotcha. So that's another option. Uh, but now that China's open, we should be making... A ton of debt, it turns out. Okay, why is that? Uh, levy upkeep, is that why? Oh, wait. Oh, right, right. I have my uh, personal fleet up. That's why. Oops. My bad. There we go. A little bit better. And I think we should also be able to change our laws. But before I do that, though, um, so in between episodes, I got my family members married off. Or at least I've scheduled their marriages. And I think we'll also do a betrothal with this guy. Yeah, since I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do matrilineal marriages once we establish our new kingdom, etc, etc. I figure we might as well get this done now. And I have someone in mind. Luama. Yes. And looks like this will go through, but I'm hoping that um, even after we create a new kingdom title or whatever, uh, we can still at least honor this. Hmm. Hopefully. We'll see though. Go for it, kids. Go for it. Fantastic. Uh, so what else do I need to do? Oh, also, something else I did in between episodes was kick out some of my courtiers, because we're getting dangerously close to the, um, court limit, I guess. We could stand to kick out a few more, I think, but I th think the majority of them are actually my children, or my dynasty members. So maybe not. Hmm. Alright, well that's fine. Let's just continue our war for the time being. Oh wait, no, I need to, uh change my laws here. I completely forgot about this. Uh, so let's see. I want to do ruler banishment, but once we do that, our vast limit will just go down again. I'm thinking maybe we should just change our centralization law? Or we could just grant these guys independence. I mean, I do intend on doing that anyways. You know what? I guess we'll just do that now. Though, we will lose some pretty good commanders, so we might want to look for... Whoa! Okay, we might lose, like, a couple of our best commanders, as a matter of fact. So we may need to find some replacements. Uh, is anyone on the, on the council? Damot? Nope, you should be down there, and that's part of Abyssinia. So the reason why I'm looking to grant these guys independence is because once I create the kingdom title, or the custom kingdom title, everything that we have in our Dejure ter or in our territory will become part of our Dejure kingdom, and I don't want the kingdom of Nubia to be part of that. Abyssinia and Yemen, certainly, but not Nubia for sure, because we want to establish this as a independent um, Jewish feudal realm. Yeah. Okay, so maybe we should look for some new commanders first, because we don't need to give away all of them. Absolutely not. Uh, but we need to look for someone who's a siege leader. Oh, Gurma. Commander and Chancellor of Damat, so most likely not. Hmm, Commander of al Jaff. Now, we are at war, I think. I'm not sure if that's going to uh, change the ability to uh, bring him into my court, though. This guy we can, for sure. Alright, so maybe we'll do this guy instead. Selassie? Oh, right, no, that guy's uh, still part of that nonsense. Hmm. Alright, this guy's a marshal, so most likely not. Alright, Aussie. I guess we'll bring you in, or at least we'll try to. Uh, thank you. And what else do we need to replace in terms of traits? I'd say we're good on organizers. We have a desert expert and a light foot leader. Uh, what other traits are really good? I mean, battlefield terrain master is fairly good, but I think also inspiring leader. Way of the dog, you say? Really? Oh no, that guy's loyal. Uh, then what if we just look for people with Way of the Dog? Way of... or anyone with the uh, Way of stuff, because that's all... Those are really good traits. Uh, Commander of the Crane Band. Ah, so this guy we can. He's a little bit older than I'd like, though. 
Hmm. Commander of the Breton Company. If I were to bribe you, we may be able to get this guy to our court. He's actually really good in terms of his uh, traits. But then we have someone who's Way of the Dragon as well as Way of the Leopard, which is basically the replacement for the, um, what's it, Siege Leader thing. All right, uh, let's see. Maybe I should have done this in between episodes. Sorry, I didn't really uh, think this far ahead. Uh, 56 years old. Way of the Dragon, Way of the Tiger. Not bad, but he's got a whole bunch of titles, so I'm assuming he's most likely not going to come to our court. All right, then let's just go with this dude. If I were to bribe you, yes, fantastic. All right, uh, and speaking of bribing people, I think I also need to bribe my council because we need to get these guys to uh, vote our way. Uh, I don't know if I'll actually have enough money for this. Hmm. Can I borrow some more money? I can't. Unfortunate. All right, then I guess we'll have to grant some of these guys independence for now. It's not great, I will say, but needs must when the double drives. All right. So we'll keep these guys for the time being and then just let go of them when the uh, time comes. Okay, so I've gotten uh, Orlando Blue married to Shiva here, so hopefully they'll produce some strong, attractive children. And Zeister has just straight up snuffed it. What? Died of poor health? You've got to be kidding me. You just called my son for no reason. Unbelievable. Wow. I haven't seen anyone in my dynasty die of poor health in like 50 million years. Good grief. Unbelievable, Dimitri. Unbelievable. Wow. Alright, so Karen is married to this guy. And you accepted my bribe. Fantastic. So I'm going to call him the council support. And you, get into my court please. Fantastic. And Steward, going to call him that council support as well. And let's get this law changed. Sure. There we go. Fantastic. And we are actually within our vast limit, if you can believe that. All right, sir. Let's get you into my court as well. Even though I'm thinking maybe we should get someone else. I don't know. Whoa, nice. I mean, decent stewardship type character, but uh, not too bad, I guess. Sure. We'll keep you around for funsies. And you two are married. Fantastic. Thank you. And ooh. Looks like they're raising troops. Interesting. Can we raise some more assassin troops? Hmm. Sometime this year, I think. Yes. Actually, in a few days. And let's get you converted to Judaism. Thank you. And you, not so much. How about I give you the title of State Inquisitor? There you go. Fantastic. Now, do we need to worry about the opposites potentially trying to uh, tussle with us? Really? Lima? Really? Okay, then fine. Go with learning. Unbelievable. Okay, so let's see. Hmm. We could stand to replace some of these dudes because way the dog is really... Uh, I mean, it's decent. I, um, maybe it's not as good as uh, some of the other ones. Wait, which one? Way of the dragon? What? No, no. Way of the Leopard, that's the one with the uh, Siege Leader stuff. Uh, maybe I should have just focused on that. Way of... Or just look for Leopard. Let's see. Who here would want to be my new Leopard? This guy's fairly good. I mean, his martial score leaves a lot to be desired, I will say, but... Um, hmm, at least in terms of his traits, he would be a good one to just uh, hunker down and siege some shit down, I guess. Now, if I were to bribe you, yes, you would definitely accept. Gotcha. And we're actually making some money now. I believe that. You know what? I'm just going to bring you in, uh, just in case. We might not actually keep him around, but we'll see. We shall see. And why don't you guys get started on seeking down this nonsense? Get into my court, sir. You know you want to. Who? Oh, some lady I just... And we are no longer greedy. Which may actually affect our economy. Hmm, but I guess it's better that we lose that than uh, some other important trait because of the stupid uh, trait cap. All right, let's get you converted. Fantastic. 
Lord Mayor Facilidas has published the results from his medical investigations. The book has not received any notable attention, but at least Facilidas has developed the skills as a physician. I see. Hmm. We should maybe look into getting ourselves a new court physician, perhaps. Especially since uh, China's opened up its legs. Uh. Maybe if we get our marshal to, instead of uh, training troops... Wait, our levy size there is 55% increased. Hmm... How much is that actually, though, in terms of the uh, numbers? Because I'm thinking maybe we'll get him to organize the army and improve our commanders instead. Yeah, that might not be a bad idea, because it does permanently increase their martial stats. Uh, if only we could get more commanders. That'd be great. Hmm... I'm actually not entirely sure how much uh, difference the martial score actually makes. I know the traits make a huge difference, but the martial score itself? It's a little iffier, I find. Hmm... You know what? I think for now we'll just keep these guys around. Sure. Even though they are adding to my court size limit. Or problem, rather. Oh well, that's fine. And the Abbasids are actually willing to peace out. Wow, okay. Uh, then let's get these guys back into our territory. Unless the Abbasids are looking to perhaps, maybe, I don't know. Oh shit, I guess we should uh, also deal with this nonsense. Uh, let me increase that campaign funding. And then we'll get the Abbasids assassinated. And then we will go ahead and uh, do something with this dude. Perhaps also get him assassinated. Why not? Right, Abbasids, you're done and dusted. Fantastic. I think I'll actually hold on to the uh, uh, holding or the county of Aksum itself because it's a pretty rich county and it's got a lot of holdings underneath it. The other ones I'll definitely give away. Mm, whoa, this guy just suddenly grew a great gray beard or something. All right, let's see. Who wants what? Ooh, wow, look at your stats, dude. But I think we're looking for someone with more stewardship than uh, anything else. Let's go with the... Uh, this younger dude. Or you know what? I guess maybe the older dude isn't too bad. You can take a Kordat. Fantastic. And what else? 35% fertility. Not great, but you know what? I don't really care. I'll be honest with you. Ooh, zealous though. 20% fertility. Even better. Yeah, essentially, if their fertility is low, that means that it's like a it it's essentially a vice royalty. They just, you know, after uh, they die without any heirs, oh the uh, the stuff will just bounce back to us. Uh, so let's see. Obviously we... I mean, we can declare a war against him now, but I'd rather just keep our prestige because we're getting to the point where we might be able to found our own unique bloodline. Hmm. And I think I might need to grant independence to one of these other dudes. Now, if they get attacked, it's definitely going to be problematic, but, um... Eh, that's fine. We'll just have to... We might have to uh, recar retake some of these territories later on. Uh, let's see. Maybe attack a realm in India? I'm not sure I actually want any of these city holdings. Not gonna lie. At least not right now. Hmm. What about you? No trade posts. Who's this guy? Oh, right. My rival dude. Oh, this is perfect. Yeah, he's landlocked, so he's got no boats. I'm assuming. Um, so, I'm assuming that this will just be a stalemate until we actually decide to act upon it. You know what? Go for it. Fantastic. And we can ar raise an army of assassins. Uh, I guess, how much divine power do we have? Not bad. Not bad. Hold on. Are you trying to tell me that Shy Hawk is actually next in line? Really? So, if we get this guy assassinated... Uh, interesting, interesting. So we can actually make Shyhawk the next Grand Master of the Assassin's Guild if we can get this guy eliminated and he maintains his uh, member score or raises it. Hmm... Very interesting. Something to consider for sure. But for now, let me just raise the Assassin troops and I guess we'll get another stack of Assassin boats. Might as well. Sure, and let's get you guys picked up and over into our territory here. Okay, so I guess for the next little while, we don't need to worry about uh, declaring any extraneous wars, since we have our 
bogus rivalry war with the uh with that dude there. Sure. And we'll get you guys landing. Ah, there we go. Our plot to assassinate is underway. Uh and our steward Tamar is making steady progress in the artifact search. An ancient relic to me. Okay. After years of constant warfare and battles involving hundreds of thousands of soldiers, the Mongols finally stand triumphant. The decisive battle was fought near Luoyang. The Mongol Kagan now sits upon the dragon throne as Emperor Taizu Egriji, founder of a new dynasty. Oh shit, okay. And they're expansionist. Fuck, we lost all of that grace. Dang, Nabbit! That sucks. Woo! We could maybe make some of that back, but, uh... Ah, oh, man. That really sucks. Well, thankfully, the Silk Road uh, value has... Ex well, it's gotten a little bit better. News from China. Recent events from the Qi Empire have caused various rebel factions to rise up in and around the Middle Kingdom. One of them is led by Helibo, in charge of the Jurchen tribe, descending upon the west from the mountains. Wherever he goes, the countryside is left ablaze. Throughout this region, people are praying for someone to deal with the hostile raiders. With his 3.6 thousand troops. Really? Wow. How devastating. Ugh. Sucks that we lost all that grace, though. Alright, so I'd say next target is probably Semyon. Yeah, go for it. Alright, can we actually get enough people? Uh... Yeah, that's gonna be a little too much. I'd say, let's get you guys situated in WOG. Yeah, and my wife has snuffed it. Unfortunate. Can we find ourselves another... Hmm... Ooh, Amhara. Who the fuck are you? Where the hell did you come from? You came from this guy's ball sack. Oh, I see. I see. We should get her into our court, though. Uh, let me look for a new wife with really high stewardship. Hmm. Oh! Oh, this lady, lady's my courtier. Oh, she's the widow of the guy that uh, may or may not have been assassinated by yours truly. I see. Perfect. And we'll get you converted into a Judaism, please. Fantastic. Alright, so... That doesn't increase our domain size limit, but that's fine, I guess. And this lady is trying to kill Shy Hawk? I don't fucking think so, numb nuts. How dare you? Both you and your husband. This patrician guy also needs to die, I think. Yeah, let's get him killed off. He's gonna be a problem for sure. Get out of here, sir. And you've converted to the wonderful world of Judaism. Fantastic. And Africa's joined in the fight. Alright. And our plot to assassinate is underway. Fantastic. And... Why are you Maya Fizzite? Oh, the previous guy was my Fizzite. That's why? Okay, that seems a little dumb, but sure. Huh. And you've converted some random lady to uh, Judaism. Oh no! What a terrible, terrible way for him to go. Uh-oh. Okay. I think this guy also needs to uh, get wiped out. Son of a bitch. I will do no such thing, thanks. And we are making uh, acceptable amounts of money. At least we're not hemorrhaging money right now. I mean, we kind of are, but, you know, not that much. Not as much as before, I think. Still kind of miffed about that grace. Mm. Alright, so if we can send a eunuch that has the Thino Magyar culture, that would be awesome. Let's look for a dude of the Thino Magyar culture who is a genius. Uh, yeah, I guess we can't really orchestrate that, can we? Hmm, damn it. Maybe we can do someone, though. At least someone. Commander of the Breton Army. Interesting. And you hate concubines. Why? Why do you hate concubines, man? Unbelievable. What a... Ugh. Unacceptable. Oh well. And our great mansion is complete. Fantastic. Uh, so what's the next level for this thing? 567 buckronies. Okay, that's a fair bit. 
Now we do have an opportunity to make some more money. Uh, this could backfire though. Hmm. You know what? It's fine. I don't know if we'll actually get to the point where we can uh, get 5,000 grace in our lifetime. Knock on wood. I'm hoping that we still survive for a little bit longer though, because... Oh. Are you stressed now? Why are you so stressed? Slept drunk in a church? My god, girl. You're a hot mess. Good grief. Uh, how old is Shyhawk? 22 years old. Okay, not too bad. And we have a new... Oh. My granddaughter's daughter. So, great-granddaughter. Fantastic. That's why she's known as Hinti. Ah. Perfect. And now we don't need to fund our campaign as much. If at all, as a matter of fact. Alright. Fantastic. And since we have a bit more cashola, let me go ahead and upgrade our mansion. And I think we'll also pay off the Rad Knight merchants. Sure. I mean, if we're in a bit of a bind. Are you kidding me? Come on, you son of a bitch. What the hell, dude? You want to die? Is that what you want? Well, we can't really kill you now, because otherwise, um, some other random asshole dynasty will pop up. Oh, look at that. Once we get this uh, upgraded, we can actually get ourselves another trade post. Legitimately this time. And Levna, let's have you go with stewardship. Fantastic. And we are at 53%. Hmm. Abbasids, anytime you want to show up with your troops, that would be great. Because I could, you know, afford to tussle your butthole. In the least sexual of ways, of course. He's still a child. 67%. Hmm. 70%. We're getting there. We are getting there. Hopefully they'll just uh, capitulate sometime soon. Young Milaku just walked up to me today, striking up conversation. We ended up having a long talk about a great many things. Um. Sure? And we become great, uh, close friends with my grandson. Fantastic. And you've converted some random dude to uh, Judaism as well. Good job. Good job. Alright guys, let's get you guys down south. And hopefully we can take these two places soon. Or, better yet, hopefully the Abbasids will actually send in some uh, troops to attack us or something. I don't know. You know, just a random thought. Throwing it out there. Just saying. Abbasids? Nope. Alright, so my steward has brought a well-preserved tongue. Great. Thanks, steward. Thanks. Very nice. Tongue of a famous holy man. Well, I mean, it does increase our diplomacy for free, so I guess I can't really complain, but... Okay, now I'm stressed. Now I can't complain. Unbelievable. Thankfully, our health is still a whopping seven, but, uh... Hmm, that does raise some concerns about our longevity now. Which I guess isn't really a bad thing, because the sooner Shyhawk takes over, the sooner we can uh, get him to seduce a whole bunch of people and make some genius babies and all that such. 92%. And they are willing to capitulate. Fantastic. Let's get you guys back into our territory first, and then we'll go ahead and end this war with this rat bastard. Alright, come on. We're almost there. Perfect. Abbasids. You are done and fucking dusted yet again. Nice. All right, two more wars, guys. Two more wars, and then we should be done with these bastards. At least for a good little while. Uh, I don't know if we need to actually bribe these dudes. I guess we should see how much uh, plot power we end up with first. All right, so let me just give these counties away quickly. There we go. Thank you. And also, how are you developing, Hakim? I'm thinking maybe I should be the one to uh, raise you. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Hmm. Hopefully we can change the fact that you're my physite sometime soon. And you are still unmarried and all that shit. Great, can I? Oh shit, I guess I can't. Then how about I try to sway you instead and then maybe we can get you to convert. Maybe we should try to do the same with a Bilquis. Hmm. And no new Phenomagyar geniuses, right? Sadly not. Interesting. This guy might be an easy import. Yes, indeedy. Interesting. Well, we'll get him into our court and hopefully married off to one of my, um, children or family members, I guess. Let me actually, uh, 
quickly look for people who are not married right now. Is that a stipulation? So China here needs to get herself a husband. Let's see. Ooh. We could get our... Oh, perfect. Another genius dude. Great. So your fertility is not bad, actually. We might be able to swing this. And Danny Achu, if I were to bribe you, I don't think that's going to be enough for him to uh, want to, uh, whatchamacallit, convert. All right, then in terms of marriages, obviously not matrilineal. Semhar. 45% fertility is not great. Hmm, 65 is not bad. 50%? But that's going to cost us 200 buckaronis. Ah, uh, no. How about then we do this instead? Uh, we can engage in some wincest, I guess. No, it's fine. We'll just do it this way. Uh, what about Simhar? 201 buckaronis. Dang, nabbit! Alright, fine. Then let's just import a lady. Mm, anyone out there want to uh, join yours truly in a wonderful world of murder and int intrigue, etc., etc.? I'm assuming you are related to your liege. Right. Then maybe... Saba. Her fertility is a whopping 125. Nice. Very nice. Let's bring this lady into our court. Fantastic. Alright, dude. Get in here. Nice, and we're gonna go broke. What? How dare you? How dare you produce a s slow child? Oh shit, I need to give these uh, territories away. That's why I opened this up in the first place. Fuck me. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. People with good stewardship. We'll go with... Hmm... Now... How about I actually give you Semyon, dude? Yeah... Pretty good command, or, uh, dude, I guess. This guy's not bad either, so why don't you take the other one? Okay, so we are over our vast limit again. Hmm. I guess we should give these away. I mean, we're not... Yeah, you know what? Let's not worry about that right now. Yeah, because I think we're still at a decent point in terms of, uh, vassal count. Alright, welcome to our court. You are no longer my biggest fan. It seems. And our plot to assassinate the Caliph is underway. Fantastic. And let's get you converted. Sweet. Steward! Unbelievable! Wow, what a bastard. What a rat bastard. Now, we have this guy that we could use temporarily. Um, but I'd rather we find someone new. Yes. Alright. Uh, I'm assuming you're gonna be a no. Okay, then maybe we'll bring in this Levi. This Levi. Wow. We have another clone situation, I guess. Or we can bring in ABBA itself. The hit uh, Swedish, um, I guess, pop band? I, I don't know. I mean, he might, we might be just listening to uh, Dancing Queen all day, which I guess isn't the worst thing in the world. Um, now, that being said, I guess Levi does have better stats, or traits rather. Yeah, I mean, Abba will be free, but Levi will cost us a little bit. You know what, let's go with Abba. He's young, and, um, you know, I don't mind Dancing Queen. Not gonna lie, kinda listen to it sometimes, just for a shit and giggles. There we go. And we'll have you be our new overseeing construction dude. Fantastic. Alright, miss, now that you've converted to the wonderful world of Judaism, let's get you married off to... Danny at you? Is that the intention? I guess? Sure. Why not? Oh no! The Caliph is dead. Oh man. What a shame. What a shame. Alright folks, let's go for Wag or Gondar. Let's go with Gondar. Maybe we can actually get this whole exclave thing to uh, work out. Though I have my doubts. I'm a little unsure about the whole system. Not gonna lie. It never seems to work the way that I think. And our Kickstarter has actually paid off. Fantastic. Uh, let's go for, I believe, Majesty. Sure. Though, I read some reports that, uh, what's it? Imperial administration might not be achievable as a merchant republic. But we'll see. 
and the dude who, uh, whom we ripped off, like, ages ago has finally snuffed it, I guess. Unfortunate, but whatever. <laughs> Can we get some more assassin troops? Not until October 17th. Gotcha. What? Are you guys forming alliances? Oh no, I think that was one of my vassals. Oh, we could be wrong. Alright, uh, can we get this war done before we end the episode? Unlikely, I would say. Let's get you, I guess, going with the martial focus, and we'll see- Oh! Are they looking to land? I don't think so. Because, I mean, I, I would imagine that they would already have started the boarding process if that were the case. Alright, well, let's actually end the episode off here for now. We'll come back tomorrow and, um, I guess hopefully win a couple more wars against the Abbasids, and then finally create our very own custom kingdom that includes not Nubia, so that we don't get any disgusting uh, digger or border uh, gore issues. Yeah, it'll be Yemen and Abyssinia. It's going to be a lot of duchies inside of the uh, kingdom, but that's fine. I actually don't mind that. At least I shouldn't. Or should I? I may need to, considering that maybe imperial administration might not really work out. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe we can cheese the system or something. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.